lot of people always ask, how do you get into this thing? Well, there's a couple options. This is one option. And this is another option. All right, so we do a quick walk around on this thing. Um, the kit literally includes everything you need for the installation. Uh, everything from airbags to airlines, compressors, hoses, sensors, shocks. I mean, everything is included in the kit. Um, here's the rear setup. If you actually look right over here, this is one of the sensors for the rear airbags. So you can actually set it to auto leveling, um, which is kind of a pain in the ass because it's constantly leveling itself. So if you're on a slope at an intersection for more than 10 seconds, it'll level itself. So we actually have that option turned off on this one. Um, but you know, it is an option. Comes with the Fox 2.0s, every single corner, the brackets to attach the reservoirs. Um, airbags have all the brackets to mount to the factory setup. Sway bar drops. Here are the compressors. One thing I do suggest doing, which we did, was we had everything powder coated right from Kelderman. Um, they do come like a flat black, which gets dirty really quick. We did a whole glossy black on this. You know, even the front brackets have the mounts for the 2.0s, and that's all factory. You just attach it with these, with these clamps here, if you'd like. Calderman drop brackets for the sway bars. Fox stabilizer shocks. So here it is about ride height right now. Which you can obviously lower if you'd like or raise it up. All right guys, now that I did a quick walk around, I'm gonna show you what actually controls this whole airbag system. Um, it's from Airlift, it's the new uh, 3H slash 3P controller. Sweet thing about this thing is uh, you can actually control it right from your iPhone or Android. Um, all you gotta download is a simple free app and you can control front, rear, left, right for each individual bag. Um, I'll show you in a second here how you can do the same thing on board in the truck without having to use the phone too. All right guys, now that I have this controller on, um, I'll explain the display real quick. The top right display number, as you can see, is going up. That's how much air is in the actual tank that runs to all these airbags. Um, each of these numbers is the actual pressure in each of the corners. So front and left's gonna have 72 PSI right now, front right 68, so on and so on. Um, if you look at these little white arrows right here facing each other, that shows you how high on the vehicle the airbags are. So for instance, the rear is almost all the way out, but yet the front is quarter of the way up. So you can set this so there's an automatic ride height for you. So instead of messing around with the bags every time you get in, if you hit this airlift button here twice, actually let me hit it once and it'll show you where your ride height is as opposed to where you are in white. If you hit it twice, it'll automatically level itself out and adjust itself to where you originally set it. And I know it's hard to tell, but right here, there's four buttons on each side. So you can individually adjust each bag, whether it's airing it up or, or dropping the air out of it. Um,
this lift rides awesome. Um, super comparable to stock, which is quite impressive considering it's 14 inches taller than stock and riding on 40 inch tires. Um, you know, there is a ride height you got to have it set to to have it ride that nice. So, so if you max it all the way out, which I'm almost maxed out right now just driving around, um, it, it's really bouncy. I mean, you have almost 80 PSI of air in each airbag, so it really makes the ride really rough. Um, but if you lower it down to about 60 PSI in the front and about 30 in the rear, which is about normal ride height, um, the thing drives like a dream. You know, you couldn't tell if it was stock or not. Other than when you look over at these semis, they're about the same height as you. Um, but it feels like you're driving a regular, you know, F-150 even. Um, so a super good lift. You know, if you plan on lifting your truck and you want to spend the money, um, I believe this kit was almost $13,000. A uh, little on the pricey side for a lift kit, but it's a hell of a lift. 